Hey Sanka, what's going on guys? This is Malik Pai. Now, do you know a time when you've gone to somebody's house, right? They invited you, you had a big heavy dinner or lunch, and then you say, you know what? Where's the chai? And then the, the host gets all excited, it's like, yep, I got you covered, baby. I got you chai. And this is what they do. They bring you a cup, and they give you a, a little uh, tea bag, and then They'll get some hot water, okay? Like literally, it will take them like a minute, okay? And that's it. In a tray, they'll give you sugar and some evaporated milk. Then that's it. So you are all excited and you're like, and then you take a sip. You put your sugar in, you put your carnation milk, and it's so watered down and it does not taste like Jai. And if this is all the Jai that you've been having all your life, let me tell you, that's not Jai. I'm going to show you how to make a Jai and I have the secret ingredient that I can guarantee you have never been putting. You've been doing it wrong. I'm going to make a killer Jai. It is so popular. Anytime I have gathering in my house, everybody talks about my Jai and I'm going to teach you my secret recipe. <laughs> All right, so this is what's gonna happen. I'll tell you exactly the steps that I take to make my chai. First of all, you don't use uh, carnation milk. You use real cream, 35% cream, okay? Whipping cream, that is what you need. Now, the first step for making chai is a lot of times people have this thing called dutpati, right? Where, and which is good, which is basically making chai or making tea in milk. Now, some of the, the our Caucasian brothers and sisters and Arab brothers and sisters, you guys are probably weirded out that how can you drink chai or, or tea without, um, uh, you know, by putting milk or cream in it, but that's how Daisies do it. So that's, if you want to have some real chai, that's how you got to do it. So what I like to do is, is first I like to brew my chai in the water. And while it's brewing, you don't touch it. You don't put anything in there. So uh, all it is is, so this is a six ounce cup and just... All you gotta do is just let the chai, now my chai that I get is very strong, but usually uh, I put two tea bags. But this brand, let me see what it's called. This is the Danedar chai. Now this is very strong, but if you're using Lip Lipton or Tetley, right, you, I would recommend to make sure that you use two tea bags for one cup because it's not as strong. But da Danedar is actually a, a very strong. So when I put two tea bags in, it wasn't very uh, very good, so it was actually too strong. So it, it all depends on what you like, but for me, one tea bag is enough. Now while it's boiling, uh, don't touch it. Don't put anything in there, and let's uh, let's get the tea uh, boiling, and then we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Now you can see the chai is uh, boiling, uh, it's bubbling, whatever. It took probably just like a minute or two for six ounce cup. Now here's the thing, while uh, it's boiling what I like to do is just squeeze in all those juices You really want the flavor to be in your chai You got to squeeze it because and that's the problem with this one right where you just like dip it You know, it's nice and cute You know you dip it and you just take it out and look at this the water is going to be you can you can still see the bottom of the cup and and that's because it, You haven't been able to really squeeze out all the the, the chai's flavor into your water now I can, and I know a lot of water is evaporating and you want that to happen because we know that when we filled up the cup, it was all the way to the top. And when, uh, what we're doing is, is letting it evaporate, let it, let it boil. So let's say water comes down to this level, the rest of it is going to be our cream. Not carnation milk or not evaporated milk, I'm talking real 35% milk. Now, here's another one. Most of the people do drink their chai with uh, sugar. Do not bring this chai to your guest and say, here you go, add sugar. You want real taste, you gotta, the, the, the secret of making a good chai, mark my word, is that you have to put sugar in your chai while it's boiling. You have to let the sugar cook, okay? So it's totally, uh, you know, dissolves in the water. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, don't think I'm putting a lot of sugar. This is basically one teaspoon. 
I already know this because I do, the, you know, this is a small, small spoon. Three of the, this is one teaspoon. So general rule is one teaspoon per cup. You can put more, hopefully not, because I'll be a little too, that's just like drinking sugar water. Why you want to put so much sugar in your water? You want to make sure that you taste the chai, right? The flavors of chai. You can add cardamom. I, don't, I ran out of cardamom, but I usually like to put two pieces of cardamom, not cardamom powder, but uh, but the actual cardamom. And make sure, hey, uh, Asana baby, can you uh, not move the chair, please? Because it's making a lot of noise. All right, so you bite it, okay? So it makes a crack in the, in the cardamom, and then you put that in, okay? So I put two of those in the cup. If you don't have it, that's fine. All right, now, then I like to add some cream. The general rule is, you can see if you look at the cup, just that much, okay? So that's about like, you know, 20% of your whole chai should be cream. Put that in there, let that come to boil. Now, so, so far, uh, you are cooking your, uh, you know, chai or your tea, tea bag in the water, let it boil. You gotta make sure that you uh, cook your sugar and you, you can't be using, um, uh, what's it called carnation milk or evaporated milk you have to use your proper 35% uh, milk and Here comes the secret recipe you guys ready for this Instant coffee now I know it sounds weird by the way wash your hands and I have already washed my hands before I started so this instant coffee we have our Keurig uh, Coffee maker, so I don't even use this the only reason why I use this is for my chai and you can see this is like halfway done This is about a year worth of effort and uh, all this instant coffee was used was for my chai It will add this flavor. You're gonna serve it to your guests and they'll be like mm, What is this? There's something different about this chai. You gotta tell me do not tell them the secret recipe um because that's your secret. That's actually my secret. Just a little bit. Just a little pinch of uh, uh, instant coffee. Throw that in. And man, I'm telling you, it will taste so good. Once it's done cooking, you know, lower the heat. Because once you put the milk in or the cream, it's going to start boiling, right? Uh, it's actually going to, it can overflow. So what I would do is, is just uh, now squeeze out the, the tea bag. Okay, let it boil for a little bit more. And now let's serve it. Let's do this, guys. Oh yeah, look at that. This is what a chai is supposed to look like. And let's do the taste. Bismillah. Mmm. Just like that Taba chai that you've had back in Pakistan and in India or Hyderabad or wherever you're from, this is what I call chai. Invite people over. Now, just a quick uh, little uh, background about serving your, uh, your guests. When three angels showed up to the Prophet Ibrahim's house, right? Now, Prophet Ibrahim doesn't know that these are angels. And they show up to Prophet Ibrahim's house. And Prophet Ibrahim is like, to serve his guests, he goes and slaughters a cow. In one of the ayahs, in the verses of the Quran, it says that it was a roasted calf, right? And in one, another one, it says it was fat, right? So you got the quantity and the quality. And that is how you got to serve your guests. When they come with your heart, with your effort, you got to serve them the most beautiful chai. Quantity and the most important thing is quality. Once again, this right here is not chai, okay? This right here is chai. This is where your guests are gonna be like, when's the next party so I can come by? And, and if you're having a party, make sure you invite me over too. I love to have get togethers. And this chai better be good because the last thing that your guests are gonna remember is the chai, not the, or the dessert, right? But not the actual, actual meal. It's all about the chai at the end, how you finish it off. Make sure you serve them the best quality of chai, like the way Malik Pai made it. Hopefully you liked it, go ahead. Go and make your chai for yourself and your family, and we'll see you next time in another video. Assalamu